The majority of doctors who graduate in Pakistan are women, but only a tiny portion of them practice their profession. Becoming a doctor is mostly seen as a step to bolster marriage prospects. It even has a name, Dr. Brides. And once married, these women are expected to stay at home. 70% of the female doctors are not working. That is because uh, in Pakistan, when we are kids, when we are young girls, we are always taught that a girl has to get married before the age of 30. And after getting married, there is a lot of pressure. The, the woman is the one who has to look after kids, after house. She is the one who has to do all the work at home. Women doctors who decide to work are generally in urban areas making it difficult for women who live in rural areas to be seen by a female doctor. Okay, Daira. But Sehat Kehani, a digital health network, aims to connect doctors who can work from home with people in rural regions. So far, 35 telemedicine clinics have been established to provide e-consultations. So, for example, if you are a patient and I am a nurse sitting in that clinic, I'll do your basic interview, I'll do your examination, I'll fill out my form, and then I'll move the laptop towards you so that you can interact with the doctor yourself, just as it is here. The doctor will then do their examination, their bit of the questions. If anything added is needed to be seen by the nurse, that is communicated. They write their prescription, and I, being the nurse, print it out and hand it over to you. It's as simple as that. Doctors who take part in the project say public acceptance is greater than they expected it to be. We have uh, done some really good work in the rural areas of Pakistan. And, you know, this is word of mouth. When one family gets advantage of telemedicine in, uh, in, you know, in a rural area, it's very easy for this news to, uh, you know, go over the whole village. These telemedicine facilities mainly have only one nurse with basic medical testing tools and a computer to connect patients with doctors. It wasn't easy because uh, as a doctor, um, there's always a you know, missing element of touch. We, we like to examine our patients. We like to test our patient and see and you know, uh, explore the disease further. So there's, there was always a missing factor there. Plus, of course, uh, when you're physically present in front of your patient, they also see there is a, a, a factor of a body language there, which, you know, uh, makes it very easy to connect with your patients. Doctors say the main concern of patients is the fear of being exposed on the Internet. But with assurances and examples of success, the interest for e-consultation is growing every day. With the pandemic already crippling Pakistan's health system, telemedicine is expected to see a further growth in the coming years. Mehmet Solmans, TRT World.